I wouldn't have touched it with a barge pole at one time. But, you know, as you grow older, you sort of look and you think, well, that's a nice car and that's a nice life and everything's <laughs> nice and perhaps he's not so stupid after all. Oh. Harry loved the little bear. They were very close. And I think Sooty was more important to Harry than probably anything else in the world. You know, we had a Mediterranean cruise and uh, I took him down to London in a suitcase. A, a Unable to keep his side of the deal, Harry had taken to touring a one-man show around resorts in the southwest. When Matthew found out, there began what amounted to a turf war. It was a war that Harry was bound to lose. <clears throat> and so we went to sleep, and uh, at three o'clock in the morning, I'm tossing and turning and thinking, the poor little devil. <laughs> <laughs> he's in his suitcase for a fortnight, and he's paying for the thing. You've got to be back at the clinic at uh, eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Would you let him do sooty again? Well, no, not really, Terry. I think it's too confusing for the public because, I mean, I've been doing this job oh, now have, yeah. for 11 years and I, it, was, it was quite difficult for me at first to, to make myself the person who was known as the person who worked with Sooty and I had a, a lot of barriers to cross because if you're a 40-year-old yeah, guy yeah. Uh, and you're out, uh, you, know, you don't watch children's television, how do you know who the new man is? And when your kid says, can we go and see him at the theatre? They say, but that's not the man, is it? It was the man who used to say bye bye, everybody, you know, no hair and all that. So it was difficult. So you keep. I have to keep. You have to uh, keep. Yes, yes. Old keep, Harry away. Keep him down. Yeah. Right. No, I'm not keeping. Okay, is he? Is he